just going to sort out uh, some links here and let everyone in the Discord know that I am live. And I've got my coffee equipped, so we're good to go there, which is always good. And we'll get to talking and then we'll get to gaming. And we'll Oops. Oh no, it didn't change my fucking title on YouTube, even though I definitely saved it. That's annoying. Okay, I'll have to figure that out for next time. Wonder why I did that. No, I fucked that up. Hmm. That's alright. I'll figure that out later. Anyway, hi guys. Let's get my coffee. Here we go. Good old Nescafe. Mm. So I've been um, on coffee. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me and everything's coming through okay. I wasn't a coffee drinker. I don't know if you guys know this. Like my whole life. I probably, up until the age of 35, I could count like... I was I was going to say I could count on one hand, but realistically, like I probably had just under ten coffees in my life prior to the age of thirty-five. Um, wasn't into it, didn't care, didn't need it, whatever. And then um, Patricia actually got me onto it, and now I drink like two a day. And I'm, I'm not a coffee snob, obviously. If I'm sitting here drinking Nescafe. But I do, like, when I have a good coffee, like, I'm very aware of, like, damn, that's a good coffee. But um, I, I I have no dramas with instant coffee. I know, like, coffee snobs, like, faint when they hear that. But that's just how I've always felt. I don't know if you guys are the same, but, like, I, I literally have no drama with just making a Nescafe at home. Whatever. Um, it's really cool. So, yeah, big plug for old Nescafe there. Hey, Peter, how are you, mate? What's going on? It'd be, uh, is unless you're in Australia, is it Friday evening for you, Peter? I'll get the fly over here. It's literally 7 o'clock on the dot here on a Saturday morning for me. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have this coffee... Shouldn't take too long. Ten minutes, have a chat and a coffee. Oh, get my gut out of the way. And um, then we're going to play some Plunderstorm. And then I am going to play some Dragon's Dogma 2, I think. Oh, you're in Melbourne, Peter. Good man. Bit of sod this morning for you. You an early riser? Get on it before, uh, maybe before the family wakes up or anything. Oh, good morning, big dog. How are you, ubiquitous? What's happening, mate? What are you doing? Everyone's doing the early morning sod. Everyone's right into it. Um, I feel really bad not doing a BFD this morning, but um, I don't know. Just uh, my heart wasn't in it, even though my fucking... Um, characters still need to level i i really like this the phase two review is going to be an interesting one ubiquitous because like i do have i do have some you know rather i was going to say scathing but that's probably not true like maybe let's call it rather insightful criticisms i think phase two has fallen really flat but like i have to throw the huge caveat out there that like my life, I mean, as you know, ubiquitous, my life has just been, you know, so topsy turvy IRL over the last, you know, four weeks. Um, that it's really hard to hold that against phase two. Like, I haven't felt like playing WoW for the last month, but that's not all phase two's fault. Um, you know, I've had some really, really big shit going on IRL that I've had to deal with that I'll, I'll tell you guys about soon. Um, and it's hard to gauge because phase two has been lackluster in my mind, but 
I would have been playing more but for this IRL shit, so I can't really just put the boot in too hard on Phase 2, even though I think it it has some really valid criticisms going for it. You know, no incentive to do dungeons. They've murdered the, any incentive to do battlegrounds. Um, there is fuck all content um, that you want to do outside of Nomragon. Um the game has kind of cannibalized itself content wise in an odd way, the way that they've rolled out the STV events and everything. It's just, it's an, it's an in and odd space. I think the developers are very aware of this. Like we said, you know, they are, they are finding out as we go, this little team, this little classic team that could is learning on the fly. This is the first game they've had to make in terms of like actually designing it. So they're learning on the fly, much like the WoW team did, you know, 20 odd years ago. Um, so I think they learned a lot in phase two and I, th- I, I expect a huge correction in phase three. Um, they'd be fools not to. Uh, I think that we are going to see um, more than likely some form of dungeon um reimagining i think that they'll do something like bring titan rune dungeons in or something to incentivize dungeon play they have to because they realize that you know what does the classic player base love doing they love running dungeons with mates what did they take away from us in phase two running dungeons with mates so they're they're in a conundrum where they're like fuck we've got all this really powerful gear and abilities that we're giving them in the the level up raid and you know the runes and we can't touch the old dungeons really so what do we do oh let's you know let's make new difficulties on the old dungeons i I just think something like that is what's going to come in to sort of liven it up a little bit clemson's pumping in the ncaa as we speak really arcturian i gotta look this up what's the score bro um oh bubba my cat no what's happening Um, hang on, I'm on ESPN. Wait, what are you talking about? What am, what am I doing? It's March. <laughs> what, what am I looking up college football scores for? It's March. What are you talking about? I had a brain fart. You're talking about the basketball. Why am I looking up their football page? That was, that was just my knee-jerk reaction. First thought is go straight to the NCAA football page on ESPN, but you're talking about the fucking basketball. All right, let's find the basketball. We didn't make the tournament, did we? I'm fairly certain we didn't take make the tournament. Or am I going crazy? Oh, we did make the tournament. We're thrashing New Mexico. I thought we didn't make it. I'm an idiot. I'm a bad Clemson fan. I don't really follow Clemson basketball, to be fair. We went 21 and 11 this year. Okay, that's that's probably around standard. Um, and we are a number six seed. What the fuck? What is going on? So we're beating New Mexico by 21 at the moment with six and a half to go in the second. Holy shit, Arcturian, you're all over it. I should um, I should check the other scores, to be fair. MSU's flogged Mississippi State. Um, ooh, upset. What's this one? Fucking Duquesne beat BYU. There you go. That's an 11 over a 6. What else have we got? Um, Baba, you're killing me. No, you're out of here. Um... Yale's playing Auburn. Colorado, Florida should be a good one. What else have we got? I 
Oh, it started two days. I, I haven't been following. Colorado beat Boise State. Wait, what is this? No, no, no. That's not the right thing, surely. Let me let me check this out. Hello from Medellin. Hello from Brisbane. Hi, Medellin. Good evening. I'm sure you get this all the time, but obviously every time I hear Medellin, I think I actually think of Entourage, which I'm sure you get a lot, and it's probably really obnoxious of me to say. I'm sorry. Um, Dirtbag Face is here. Win over BYU is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Nice cat. Yeah, she goes all right. I've got three of them. Let's go, Nugs. Are you a Nuggets fan? Trees of War? Actually, um, I watched the highlights from the uh, Nuggets-Knicks game yesterday. Um, great little game, that one. Um, you're in Denver? Yeah, I, I've actually... Um, so I'm an NBA fan. I don't know if you, you know this, but um, I've caught the last couple of Nuggets games. Uh, the Nuggets are just... I have so much respect for what they do. Like, I'm not a Nuggets fan at all, but like, you know, you can roll your eyes, I'm a Lakers fan. But um, they are such an impressive, like, such an impressive professional basketball team, which I know sounds like a stupid thing to say. Obviously they are, but like, you look at what other teams in the NBA are doing, like Denver with their, their roster, their coaching, their front office, like they're fucking all over it. And all of their, I love their team because they play, in my mind, they're this weird team that's like a hybrid of an NBA team and a FIBA team, like an international team. And and obviously you can say a lot of that comes from Jokic, but like it really filters down to all of their gameplay and they're, they're, they're a team. They're like a genuine team. Hey, Nada, thank you so much. I'm just moving myself around because I couldn't see that notification. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Nada. Appreciate that. Um, they fucking... They pass so well. They move the ball so well. They The, the threes that they take are usually very smart. Um, they're just so fun to watch. It's It's just like pure old school team basketball in a way with a little bit of modern flair. Um, I really, really like them. Um, but like, it's odd because obviously, you know, we, we play and it's not necessarily a winning style of basketball down, you know, whatever, but like we play so much more like of an international flavor of style of basketball in Australia, as opposed to like, um, you know, Americans do, and you know, this. like Americans tend to play a little bit differently to the rest of the world. Um, it is like such a clash of cultures when you see like, you know, a great European team play a great NBA team or something like that. Not that it happens very often, but you know, when you see the Americans play, although the Americans tend to play more international style when they get together as America to play in, you know, FIBA tournaments or in, you know, the Olympics or whatever. But, um, yeah, the, I'm talking about the Nugget Slinger. How are you going, mate? They're just they're a delight to watch. I, I just I'm just like I find myself just golf clapping so often over so many of their plays. Yeah, it's a multi stream. Do you go to any of the games, trees? Welcome, welcome, Nada. Oh, it happens all the time in preseason. Like, I mean, we had, I think it was last year, an Australian team beat whatever fucking American team was touring. An Australian team beat an NBA team and everyone was like, oh, it's fucking huge. Like, no, it's not. None of this matters. It's preseason. No one's trying. No one's caring. It's all bullshit. <laughs> Um, dirtbag, I, um, I have family in LA. I've, um, I've been there a bunch. I haven't been for a while, but like, um, I've been to LA four times, four trips in my life. Um, which I mean, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it is, you know, a 14 hour flight away. So it is, it is actually a fair bit. Um, 
I've got a uh, beloved cousins in Los Angeles dirtbag. Um, you'll laugh. Um, they lived in Bel Air while I was growing up in this, you know, as you can imagine, this beautiful house. Um, and my mum, my mum, for I still don't know why she did it, but my mum sent my mum sent me over to stay with my cousins, who they're not like my age or anything. Who's that? Iron Einstein. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, my mum sent me over to LA to stay with my cousins. Um, my cousins are like fucking 15 and 20 years older than me. You know, they're not like around. It's not like I'll go play with your cousins around your age. It was none of that. Um, she just sent me to stay with them for like a month when I was 13 for Christmas in like, you know, 95. And I was like, uh, okay, sounds cool. And it was great. It was fucking amazing. I had the best time. And I had such a good time. I was like, mum, can I do it again next year? And she was like, yeah, whatever. We, we did it again the next year. I went back in 96 and stayed for a month. So I spent like, you know, these two months over, you know, a 12-month period in LA and fucking just loved it. Um, went back for BlizzCon in 2018 and went back for BlizzCon in 2019. And, and those are all my trips to LA. But I, I, I it's, you know, please accept this as lovingly as you can. LA is a shithole but it grows on you, if that makes sense. Is that a fair assessment, do you think? Aesthetically, LA is a fucking, like, just scum bucket of a city. I'm so sorry. It looks like absolute shit. Baba. It is... It is like fucking foul driving around the majority of LA. Um, but then, you know, to be fair, I don't know. To be fair, I think of like Sydney and like there's a lot. Of, Sydney is beautiful. Sydney's one of the most beautiful cities in the fucking world because you've got, you know, the, all the picturesque scenes of the harbour and things that you've seen and on TV and whatever. But like, you know, it is easy to forget. We've got the beaches, they're beautiful, but like it is easy to forget that probably like 70 to 80% of Sydney is pretty fucking ordinary as well. Well, you're closer to Disneyland than LA, so you like the Anaheim area dirtbag? Do I have an Uncle Phil? I know, right? And this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. I was fresh printing it for a little while there. Um, Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you something funny. You'll you'll get a kick out of this dirt bag. So, remember, I said I, I'm a Lakers fan, and I'm talking about these trips when I was a kid. Look at this. I'll literally take two seconds and go get this thing for you. All right, so. Fucking, um, it's a statement of my life that this is one of one of my most prized possessions. I'm not really, but you know, I have kept it all these years. Um, oh God, I've got so many weird stories like this. So my, <laughs> I dox myself a little bit. Um, <laughs> one of my beloved cousins, um, in you know. The, in this family that I went to visit, um, Bradley, he's, he's fucking, he's the best. Um, he, <laughs> do you guys know the movie, um, do you want a man? I'm sure many of you have heard of it. And obviously South Park sent it up that one time. Um, we got any, do you want a man stands in here? I, I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so fucking my cousin was, a, my cousin was a screenwriter and he had like three or four movies made and, and he wrote Juana Man. Um, and right around the time, I think it was, this was like somewhere around the time that he was writing Juana Man or just before he started writing it. I was in LA and, um, his weird, so many weird stories. His long-term girlfriend at the time, um, his college sweetheart, uh, was a 
God, she was either Serbian or Yugoslavian. I presume she was Yugoslav because because this, the person I'm about to tell the story about was. Um, anyway, w- weird, weird, weird tangent. Um, they were together for like, oh, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight years, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my cousin, Dirtbag. Um, so my, my dad's mum... Um, my dad's mum, lovely, lovely, sorry, my dad's mum, my dad's sister, younger sister, lovely, lovely Brisbane girl. Um, I don't know how they met. She was over in America when she was younger on a trip or something and met this fucking, just the world, like he was the king, the world's nicest, best, like this fucking amazing Jewish guy. They fell in love. They got married. They had a kid. Um, and she like stayed over in America and set up shop over there. And, and I, that's how I have like American family. Um, and so Bradley was their kid, uh, is their kid. And, um, and, uh, yeah, it was always weird growing up with like family in America. And so that's why I went over to like visit them. But anyway, um, Brad's, Brad's girlfriend, um, fucking, she went on to become Christian Bale's wife, which is the really weird part of the story. Um, her name's CV. You can, you can look her up. Um, she's been with Christian Bale for like fucking 10, 12 years now or something. Um, so that's, that's my random six degrees of separation there. Well, I like, I, I did once upon a time, know Christian Bale's wife. <laughs> um, so long, the, the, this all comes back to CV because, um, Again, I'm like a 12 year old kid, and I'm I'm living at at Brad's house with the family for a month, and um, fucking CB pulls me aside one day and was like, "Hey, Josh, like you're a big basketball fan." I was like, "Yeah," and she's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah," and she's like, "You're a big Lakers fan," and I go, "Yeah, I'm like Lakers are my team, yeah, yeah, yeah," and she's like, "Well, I know um, Vladi Divac like through the Yugoslavian community." Um, here in LA, would you like to, you know, maybe meet him or, or get an autograph or something? And I was like, oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? That'd be amazing. Love Vladi. And unfortunately I wasn't able to meet him, but she did come over to the house one day and said, look, sorry, Vladi's flat out because they're in the middle of the season. Um, but he did give me this and it's my signed Vladi Divac basketball <laughs> to Josh Vladi Divac. Um, this is from like 1995 uh, and I've kept it all these years. Um, so that's my really, really weird Hollywood a star slash basketball, you know, fucking <laughs> Pseudo royalty, I'll call I'll call Vladi pseudo basketball royalty story. Um, so there's a wild story to open off the the stream for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. Very weird. I've 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 got a lot of um, I have lots of weird stories. I've lived a very bizarre life. Um, that's really really normal and yet really really weird. Like uh, I've got a lot of weird stories like that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that one. I hope you enjoyed that dirt bag. That's my LA story. All right. I'll be back in a second. I'll put this one back. We need a story time with Josh podcast episode. Oh, I mean, I've got, I've also got so many stories that are like very much so not fit for print. I can assure you, dirtbag, that are like really tagged as adults only that that are fucking wild. But I could just, I cannot, I cannot tell. It would just not be, it would not be good. Some very eye-opening stories that would put hairs on people's chests. <laughs> oh my goodness, mate! I'm—I mean, I'm 41. I've lived a life, you know. 
it's all happening. A <laughs> separate podcast, naughty story time. Oh god, that'd be a fucking hundred episode show. Um, but um, still going through this coffee. Um, hope you guys are doing very well. Um, bear with me. Okay. All good. All good. <sighs> My children do need wine. Hey, thanks so much for the sub, Tiger Claw. That's very, very kind of you. Oh, redhead. Redhead Lou with the sub. Thank you very much. My my Vladi story. Oh my God, it's raining subs because of my Vladi story. Einstein. Thank you so much, guys. That's very, very kind of you. Oh my God, what is happening? Thank you, Kaliok. Is this like... This must is back. Oh, someone's gifted. Someone's gifted. Backers, thank you so much. I got. I always fuck this up. Someone has gifted subs, right? I got to check this out. What's happened? Dirtbag face, gifting five tier one subs to the countdown community. Thank you very much. I will say thank you to you, but on behalf of Tiger Claw, Redhead, Einstein, Kaliok, and Backers, thank you very much, Dirtbag. That's so so kind of you. You're a fucking legend. Thank you so much, mate. I always fuck up. Yeah, I mean. It's only my second stream back on Twitch in like two years or something. I always fuck that up. And you can you can tell when I'm like, whoa, 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 why is it raining subs? What's going on? Oh, yeah, that's right. I mean, someone's gifted them. <laughs> Thank you so much, mate. You're a legend. I am going to be working on all the um, sub rewards, guys. There are some emotes uploaded. Um, there are some T1 emotes uploaded. You guys, uh, you can see if you can try them now. I uploaded some brand new emotes for um, followers uh, just yesterday or the day before some fun new ones um there they are there you go um dirt bags all over it one of them is my dog shitting i'm not sure if that is um okay for twitch but um the 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 crap one is literally a photo of my dog taking a dump in the backyard and you can like in the high res image like i i took a photo of it to send to patricia to like make her laugh and like it's you can just see like a half an inch of poo poo coming out <laughs> and it's pretty fucked up photo but like whatever it's for a laugh um and you you can't quite see it in the twitch like emote there because it's only fucking you know like 26 by 26 pixels or whatever but uh, yeah that's my dog ralph taking a dump um, so we got to make that the, the theme for like, um, for if something shit or crap, you know, oh, this is dog shit. That's the emote to spam. <laughs> um, we got pube sniffer. Where's hunk and Yubi? I know, right? Actually, uh, Ubis, Ubiquitous was here. He might've taken off. I'm not sure if he's still here, but he, he's around somewhere. Hunk is probably still asleep. Hunk enjoys his sleep-ins on the weekends. Um, but uh, fucking... I am actually meeting up with the, uh, a bunch of guildies for a beer today. So I might be streaming again later. A lot of you will probably be asleep. Um, but in about seven or eight hours' time, I might, 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 might do a very short stream from the uh, Bowls Club that we're going to go for a beer. Um, Bowls Club is a very, like, Australian thing, if you guys aren't aware. Like, I, I, I really, I couldn't tell you what the American equivalent is because I don't think you have one. Um, really ingrained into our culture. Um, you guys would know the game, like, Lawn Bowls. Um, it's, a, it's a big part of Australian culture. Just, there's these Lawn Bowls Clubs fucking everywhere, like, all over every city, right? every town, whatever. And um, they're really popular generally amongst like, you know, senior citizens. They go and have a game of lawn bowls, but also like very popular is like a second option to a pub. So if you really want to drink and sort of, you know, have a few beers with your mates or whatever, it is a very, very like reasonably popular option to suggest to people rather than going to a bar or a pub you'd be like, hey, do you want to go to the bowls club if you're day drinking, right? Anything, anytime you feel like a, a beer around, you know, one, two, three o'clock in the afternoon, 
it's not bizarre. I mean, it doesn't happen that often, but like, you know, people under 45 occasionally might go, hey, fuck it, do you want to go to the bowls club for a few beers? Yeah, why not? You know, go sink some schooners with the fucking, the, the seniors. Um, yeah, I think so, Red. I think so, Redhead. Oh my god, that's loud. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I touch pigs. Donated four ninety nine through super chat. More backing for Dirty Josh after dark podcast. Oh my god, it. I know it would be banned. It would be so banned. Um, nothing illegal, but like, <laughs> just. Oh, how do I put this gently? How do I say this without saying this? I <laughs> I have many many fun stories I can never tell. If that's if that assists at all. Um never never there is a side of me that I don't think you guys ever really need to see. <laughs> Oh dear, I need to put this um, sound in my headphones. There we go. <laughs> what is that emote? That's a good one. Join us. I like that one. Oh dear. Um, oh shit, I forgot to post my tweet. Um, fuck, this coffee's going down well, I'll tell you that much. Do you have Irish pubs with rugby on TV? Uh, we absolutely do. Um, we also have regular pubs with rugby on TV. Um, so obviously, you know, um, you know, I, wait, I'm already forgetting. Nada, were you the person in Melbourne or was that, that was someone else, right? No, that was someone else. I think, I can't remember. But um, if you're asking, I presume you're not Australian. Yes, we have uh, like rugby's all over the place. Oh, Nada, my, my friend in Spain. Of course, I love you, mate. Thank you so much. Thank you so, 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 so much for the, the lovely, um, the lovely gift you sent through via um, the website's name is now escaping my memory. Uh, Ko-Fi. Thank you so much for the gift on Ko-Fi the other day, mate. That that fucking touched my heart. meant a lot to me. Thank you so much. Um, Nada sent me a little bit of beer money the other day. It was very, very kind of him. You know, didn't have to do that. It was very, very nice. Thank you, mate. Um, Einstein, you're in Melb. There you go. Um... But yeah, it was, um, what was I saying? I I do have more content. Like, you know, I won't be able to do the fucking Josh After Dark podcast, but I do have more content coming for you guys. So don't, don't stress. Um, I am sort of moving into my next phase of my content creation career. This is something I've been mulling over for a couple of years now. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not quitting. Wow. I'm not quitting. Wow. Content or anything like that. But, you know, for a couple of years, I've been like, look, I've got a pretty fucking good community here. I've got a pretty fucking sizable community. A lot of people enjoy tuning into my podcasts. I enjoy talking about things outside of wow as well. And I'm pretty sure I could put on a good show as I've done in the past with like the cinephiles. I'm pretty sure I could put on a good show if I challenged myself to do other forms of content. And I, I've i never had the time in the past and not even uh, like necessarily not just having the time, but like so many things were going on um, that it just wouldn't have been a good decision. But now, like I said, a lot of stuff has been happening IRL over the last month. A lot of things have changed. Um, I, I will have the time coming up. I'll tell you all you guys about it relatively soon when I'm ready. Um, I will have the time coming up. I've already put the balls in motion to create some new podcasts. I've, I've signed up, um, uh, Jason from the starting zone who many of you've heard on the show before. Um, a lot of you know him, a lot of you love him. Um, he and I are going to be starting up a music podcast, which I am just absolutely thrilled about i i am so fucking excited for this new show guys um i've wanted to do music for a long time it's a really really hairy topic um because of all the copyright involved you know the way that i want to do the show i want to play clips 
you know, of music all through the podcast. I want it to be like a rockumentary and I, I, you, you just can't do it without the music. You can't. You wouldn't even bother. But look, I've... I've read a lot into fair use, you know, um, I, I do have a legal background, obviously, as well, I am a lawyer, but like, it's it's really dicey territory because, you know, they come after you pretty hard, but like, it's also, there's literally laws that exist that allow you to do it. So if you back yourself, if you do it right, if you make sure you're not stepping out of bounds, I think that I can pull it off, so... We're going to give it a go. And look, even if you do step out of bounds, it's it's a small little podcast by some Aussie guy. People won't notice. But like the, the plan is to stay within the realm of the law um, so that if anyone kicks up a stink, I can say, hey, man, this is literally the definition of fair use. Fuck off. Um, so we're going to try and be smart about it. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, I'll tell you guys now, like... Um, I I hope he doesn't think we we're recording today, but I'm pretty sure we're rec- recording our first episode ne- this time next week. Um, and the very first episode, the, the, the basis of the show is going to be um, an analysis or breakdown of our favorite albums of all time. So um, I've got to talk to Jason about this. I think... Um, cause Jason's a massive metal head. So a lot of his selections would be metal. So I think to make it a bit more mainstream, we might have to go on a bit of a two for one basis where like we do two of my albums and one of his, we'll, we'll see how we go. Um, he understands that, you know, his, his taste is, is not necessarily, you know, going to bring in the, the most mainstream of listeners. Um, but he's more than and he's more than able and more than prepared to talk about you know stuff that that I like that he probably likes too, but wouldn't necessarily pick to talk about on a podcast. Um, so the very first episode is going to be about um, melancholy and the infinite and the infinite sadness by Smashing Pumpkins, um, which is a big album to take on for a first episode. But I wanted to sort of I wanted to really drop the hammer and and come out of the gate just fucking firing. So I've done a lot of research on that album over the last couple of weeks. I'm ready to talk about it. I've recorded all the clips and music that I want to drop in and edit into the episode. And, you know, if you guys heard our um, chat about the... If you guys wanted like a slight preview of what it might sound like, go back and listen to the countdown episode where we broke down the 30th anniversary of Nevermind. Um, I'll send you a link right now if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. Um... Uh, here's the episode here. So what you want to do is 5230. Here you go. Here's the link. Go to the 5230 mark of that episode and you will get, um, you'll get uh, an idea of, the, that's like the prototype. You could almost call that the pilot episode or like, you know, the the rough cut dream of what I wanted to do. Um, that's still one of my favorite things that we've done on Countdown and had nothing to fucking do with World of Warcraft. Um, so yeah, um, Gish is your favorite Pumpkins album. Einstein, I, you, you'll, you'll be upset at me because one of the things I was gonna say on the podcast like I obviously I adore Siamese Dream. I adore Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. I'm really down on Gish, and and I am more than happy to accept that I'm an anomaly because all of my mates fawn over Gish. Oh Gish! Oh how good is Gish? And I I was always like it's such a dick thing to say, but I always felt like it was just like. It was a cool thing to say, you know, like, oh, I liked them before they blew up. You know, Gish was like the most, um, uh, at the time, like the biggest selling independent album of all time or some shit like that. Um, I, I'm i not into the music on Gish. I think it's, I think, I think it's quite overrated, but I'm happy to be shouted down. And I'll fucking bet you that Jason says he loves it. I'll bet you. <laughs>
Just catching up on some chat here. Pigs, where are you? Uh, da, 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 da. I was just seeing if I missed something from you. All good. Um, it brings back good memories for you. Yeah, we, we've all got those albums that just take us to that place. Absolutely. Um, oh, yeah, thanks about that dirt bag. Yeah, I, I said at the start of the stream, I don't know why. I set, up, I set up the YouTube stream to say wow, and for some reason it went to my stream from yesterday and went Dragon's Dogma. Don't worry about it. I, I, thank you so much for giving me the heads up. Don't worry too much about it. It is fucking what it is at this point. But I'll finish this coffee and we'll do some Plunderstorm, guys. All right. I think we're good to go. All right. Everyone's leaving because I'm not playing a video game. Mate, this guy drinks too much coffee. <laughs> All right. Let's, um, let's fire up. Ye old Plunderstorm. I'll get my camera uh, back down. Where are we? Oop, no, not that one. Oh, what have I done? There we go. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. I'm going to leave because you're playing a video game. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Oh, can I edit it on YouTube? I'm not sure how to do that. Um, let me go to go live. What does it say here? Um, can I edit? Yes, I can. You're right. You're right. Let's do that. Dragon's Dogma 2. Save. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's so cheeky of YouTube how by default they've got monetization of streams off and you have to like change it yourself. It's so, I'm so sick of all the bullshit that companies do these days to fucking make a buck. Um, yeah, just done it. Thanks, Dirtbag. Cheers, mate. All right, let's uh, fire up fucking Plunderstorm. All right, here we go, boys. I'll turn down the sound a bit. All right, here we go. Bit of plunderstorm. All right, there's my boy. There's my boy. Let's get into it. Let's do this. I'm I'm enjoying Plunderstorm, honestly. Dirtbag, it's it's totally fine by me. Like I I, I think it is. And I say this in the nicest way without being negative. Like, it is dumb fun. It is purely just a bit of a sidetrack. It is dumb fun. It's something to do in the limited time event. Like, I think it's fun. I think it's cool. Um, I think it works, quite frankly. Um, you know, I'm not the best at it, but, like, I love PvP. So, it's for me. Um, you know, it's not quite the, the wow... Uh, it's not the WoW fucking Battle Royale that, like, it's not 100% what I would have made, but it's pretty close to it. You know, the only thing I would change is, and nobody would want to play this probably, is, like, I I, I enjoy the skill shots, but I'd get rid of them because I just like WoW PvP. So if I could have this with regular WoW PvP, oh, my God, I'd fucking love it. I'd fucking love it. But I get that this is more, like, balanced and whatnot. Like, it's, you know, it's all a bit of fun. I think, honestly, I sucked at, at WoW PvP as well, Dirtbag, but like with anything, you've just got to throw yourself into it. You've just got to do it. Like, I'm not great, but I'm okay now. I'm okay. I, I'm an average WoW PvPer now when I was terrible. 
a year and a half ago. Just because all I do is like, I just, I love it. All I want to do is just want to, I want to PvP. I haven't watched Zai uh, you play Plunderstorm yet. Are you talking about Plunderstorm Redhead or are you talking about like generic WoW PvP? I know he's obviously a god of like general WoW PvP, but I have seen, uh, you know, I haven't seen any clips, but I've heard that like he's pretty fucking good at Plunderstorm as well. Let's go to this one. Alright, what did I get? Okay, that's alright. I know how to use that one. Okay, let's round everyone up. Yep, come with me, come with me, come with me. Let's get some aggro going here. Come on everyone, come with me. Alright, and we go like this. Hiya! Oh, am I gonna die? Probably. Cheeky heal, and we're good to go. All right. So I get anything good there? No. Not one ability? Are you kidding me? Killing me. More plunder over here. Is a chest? There's someone behind me. Okay, I'm level three. I still need some abilities. Nope, no one's going to drop anything for me. Come on. You mean Plunderstorm? Yeah, yeah. He ripped Payo to shreds. Good stuff. <laughs> oh, there's an ability. Star Bomb. Alright, come on. This is actually great for PvE, Star Bomb. Come over here. Oh, sweet. What's this one? Yeah, let's take that. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Lightning Bulwark is what? A shield. Negates damage briefly. Okay. That's all well and good. Let's go kill these guys. Do a bit of AoE over here. Come on, peons. Come with me. No, no, no. Let's go kill these guys as well. Hey, hey, hey. Aggro. Aggro. Aggro me. Aggro me, you bastards! Oh my god, hurry up. Thank you. Alright. They didn't drop anything, that's unforged. I'll go back and get this chest. Where am I on the map? Oh, I'm near the middle. Okay. To be fair, on the resources front, I don't actually think a lot of people worked on Plunderstorm. So I wouldn't think of it as like, oh my god, the whole World of Warcraft team fucking took time off to make this game mode. I've just got a funny feeling that's not what happened. I do get the impression this was the I like, you know, the brainstorm love child of like a handful of people. I don't know. I can't back that up. I've just from what I've seen on, on social media, it's just the impression I've got from the chatter. Um, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Scourge of the Storm has arrived. Ooh, there's one. Okay, get more plunder. There's a piece of hate. I should go and try and take that one down, but there'll be people there. Alright, ding a ling. What level am I? Five. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, I didn't get the raptor. Spewing. What have I got here? No, I hate that one. Heal up a little bit. Okay, let's go. Any players around here? Someone's fighting it. Yeah, let's take him on. It's just one guy. Ah, I fucked that up. 
Ah. Oh, he like run away, run away. Let's go for these players. He's got aggro on me. No. Oh, good. They're fighting each other. Ha ha. Oh, fuck. trouble here oh it's about to die no oh run away Josh oh no he got me Oh, he's up so fucked. Fuck. 23rd. That wasn't very good. Damn it. Hey, Watts. Mate, it's a bit of fun. You should try it out, Watts. It's honestly, like, it's not too shabby. Oh, no. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, I do need to kill more elites. They're, they're hard to find, to be honest with you. Like... The elites are reason not hard to find, but they're spread out. Um, they're not all bunched up, so like you have to like walk a fair bit to go and get more elites. But I guess you got to do it because you got to get the fucking level up, send the loot that they drop. Um, let's see. Let's see where I'm at. Where's the guy? There he is. Oh my god, I hate that so much. That thing that knocks everyone away. What do we? What is that? Why? Why is this a thing? Is this something the player is doing or the game is doing? Either way, you have you have to take that out of the game. Like, why is that in the game? Why are we just griefing people? It's so fucking dumb. Okay. Oh yeah, no, I did that. I did that that game, Ubiquitous. Landed straight on an Elite. That's absolutely the play. I'm pretty bad at them too, Watts. It's, yeah, like I say, it's still a bit of fun. I don't really, I don't need to, you don't need to win to have fun. Yeah, there's Ubiquitous, there's your boy. All right, let's, let's land in the same spot. I like this, I like this spot. Is someone, is this guy gonna go do the same thing? He didn't land on the Elite, though. I'll land on the Elite. Oh, no. Someone's done it already. Shit. Fuck. We fucked up. Fucked up badly there. Someone already took the Elite. I want it. Bugger. At least he dropped an ability. What's this? Golden. Golden chess. Is that good? I presume so. Oh, another one down there. Ooh, that's a lot of plunder. Here's another golden chest. Fuck it, let's just loot. No, let's not loot. He's going to kill me. These guys hit hard. What the fuck? Fuck off. Just gives you a lot of plunder, these golden chests. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, here's an L8. 
fight. No, no, no. Oh my god. Alright, he dropped something. Very good. Oh, I might have to take this one, actually. Oh, actually, no, no, no. You know what? Let's do this, after all. For the PVE. Okay, let's round them up. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Let's go. Come with me to the Elite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Oh, no. I'm going to get fucked up here. Oh, oh, I'm dying. Did I get him? I got him. I'm not doing well. He dropped something. Steel traps. Yep. I really need to heal badly. Very badly. Five more seconds on my heal. The Spellbreak team was purchased by Blizzard for this game. Is that right? I didn't know that. So it was a separate team. I'm, I'm unironically, like, excited to pay play Classic. Oh, sorry, Kata. I fucking, I mean it. Like, I don't know if it'll be good, but I am excited to try it. Oh, fuck. We're in trouble here. There's some chests. Let's just kill these guys while we're at it. Get these guys with an AOE. I'll heal up first. All right, now let's get these guys with an AOE. Magical chest. This will have an ability in it, surely, right? Yep. Beautiful. That's what I needed. Golden chest for more plunder. Phase 3 buffs confirmed? I fucking hope so. We're getting something. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that one. No, I'd rather have the barrel, I think. We haven't seen a single player. Yep, yep, yep. Let's pull some aggro here. Get all you guys at me. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, I should go this way. I don't want to go towards the storm. I want to move away from it. There's a piece of hate over here. I haven't seen a single fucking player this game. I can hear one now. Oh, there's one. What is he? Level four. We can take him, surely. Oh, he's got a player chasing him. Level 5. Let's go for it. Die. <laughs> They're just going to fight each other. Okay. Oh shit, now I'm getting hit. No. I went the wrong way. <laughs> run, 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 Josh. They can kill each other, fuck it. Yeah, they can deal with the storm. Are they still there, fighting? I can hear something. Looks like they are. You're about to be in the storm, boys. Oh, look at all this loot. What's going on here? Parrot snacks. I've not seen that one. What's that do? This oh, okay. Oh, shit. There's a stealth guy over here. There he is. There he is. He just popped out of stealth. Die, dickheads. Run away.
away, Josh. Oh, I got aggro. No, no, no. Alright, I gotta move. Storm's coming. I'm only level 7. I guess it's not too bad, but still. I hear some players. Whoa, look at these guys go. Yeah, 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 I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, come on, you bastard. You bastard. Oh, they're going at it. Oh, there's a purple chest up there. Fuck, you want that? That guy's going to get it. Or are they going to fight over it? Oh, it's on. It's on. Let's see if I can nab it. This guy's trying to jump in as well. Whoa! No! <laughs> Fuck, I got destroyed! 11th. Oh my god. The bubble is very hard to make effective. You have to have a slow or a stun with it. It's really hard. Oh man. All right. I, I have to know. I have to know what that thing is that everyone's doing. Or is that a player arriving that knocks everyone back? It is so annoying. I would take that out of the game and I would absolutely remove the sound effect that, of you crying when you die. It's so tilting. Even knowing that it's my character crying, it's still so tilting. I would get rid of it. Yeah, the chest of death. It was too, like... It was too tempting. Okay, let's... I never start here. Let's let's try... I've never been in here. Let's have a look. Something to land on, please? Anyone? Bueller? Okay, cool. There we go. That's a start. Not, not my favourite ability, but it'll do. Okay. We're off and running. Here's a player. Here's two players. Let's see what they're doing. They're just being tools over here. That's one guy. Oh, they're both low health. It's really annoying fighting players at level 1. Let's just get this chest. Ooh, hello. Yeah, that'll do. Let's get him now. So annoying. I'm such an idiot. I just gifted him a fucking kill. I'm such a fucking idiot. They got to get rid of that crying sound. Like it is. How is that good game design? Let's tilt the players. I, I bitched about it the other day. I'll bitch about it again now. Why would you antagonize your players in your game? Why would you like poke and prod and tease them that they died when they're already tilted? It is shit game design. It is like. It's not like <laughs> PvP lol bro, like no. Let the let the players be dickheads and tease you, not the game itself. Like it's fucking dumb. Welcome, or the pirate says, welcome. Oh, it kills me. Kills me, dirtbag. 
Oh, Andrew. Don't don't tease me. I can't handle it. Don't fuck with me, guys. <laughs> I, that's why I hate... That's why I hate fighting people as soon as you land and see them. Like, I'm shit at it. You've both got no abilities and they're just going to beat me. I'm glad you agreed to it, Bag. I feel like I'm the only person who's been saying it. Um, what do you mean, what's with the wireless or wired mouse thing? Oh, <laughs> I'm with you now. You always use a wired mouse so you don't hurl it across the room in frustration. <laughs> Good point. Good point. I was a really big wireless guy until like five or six years ago. Um, now I do just do the wired thing. And then I like it, I'm fine with it. Ah, oh, shit, where do I go here? I've got no fucking idea. No, let's go this way. Oh, there's some chests. Let's go down here, this guy. Yeah, sick. Get these chests going. Yep, happy days. What's that one? Oh, I've not seen this one. Goblin glue rocket. Fires a barrage of rockets containing sticky glue in a line in front of cluster. That's oh, a slow. Good stuff. Effect. So what does it actually do? I should check. Oh shit. So if I hold it down... Oh, okay. Alright, gotcha. Pretty cool. Let's try these guys. Hey, you guys. Come aggro me. Nice. That worked well. Been in a game of PUBG where you don't see anyone for 30 minutes. See, I, I that's the side of Battle Royales I do not like um, what's. That's why I've typically stayed away from Battle Royales. Like Warzone, I played with a couple of guys I know through the podcast once, Warzone, and I fucking hated it. Like we didn't see anyone for 15 minutes and I'm like, how is this? I was like bitching to them and you know, you know what it's like when you're bitching to people about the game that they love. I was like, how is this fun? How is this video gaming? We've run around and haven't seen anyone for 15 minutes just collecting loot. Like, it's shit. It's not fun. I hate I hate PUBG. I hate Warzone. I reckon those games are fucked. But this, like, where you can actually see people, and if you don't see someone, it's only for about, you know, three or four minutes, whatever. What's this one? Holy shield. Yeah, I need that. No, wait, I don't need that. My bad. Wait, did I miss one? Did I miss someone? Oh, over there, you're right. Oh my god, there's two of them, they're fighting. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Blah, da, 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 da. Oh, I got him. Oh, go. Just get in and out. Drink up. Hell yeah. Do 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 boo 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 do. Oh, I'm gonna get stunned. I'm fucked. I got away. Whew, that was a close one. 
we'll just kill the winner of this one. How about that? How did I not just slow him? Ah, oh, I'm dead. I think he's gonna pull through. He's level six! That was level four. What a cunt. Yeah, in, in PUBG and, and Warzone and stuff, yeah, there's literally nothing to do if you don't see players. It fucking sucks. Oh, you hadn't seen any of this before today, Watts. Mate, just honestly, Watts, my greatest piece of advice is just give it a go. It takes five minutes to try. Like, get in, one game, get out, just give it a go. Don't, don't listen to what people have to say, just try it yourself and see whether you like it. Oh, what was his name? I missed it, dirtbag. Oh, he went after a, a four-level player. Right. You've not played WoW since the start of Phase 2. Is that right, Watts? Yeah, it's in the... Re so you have to have retail installed. And um, you actually open up retail. And then you'll see in the top left-hand corner a, a big logo for Plunderstorm that you click on. Let's go start over in Stromgard. Let's go have a look see. No, not there. We'll go over here. How about this? Great, landed on nothing. Good start, Josh. Oh, got the best ability. the wrong ability. Doesn't matter. Okay, I need to get out of the storm or I'm in trouble. Oh no, I'm safe here. Okay. Let's just move this way though. What's this one? Fae form. Yeah, let's grab that. That will do donkey. Grab this guy. Is there anyone in here I can kill as well? Yeah, come on. Let's do this. Nice. Ooh, chest. Golden chest. Lots of plunder. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What's this one? Uh, explosive caltrops. Yeah, I do want that. Anyone around? No, looks like we're safe. Get this plunder and get out of here. Can you crash down onto another player for an insta kill? I haven't tried. I don't. Oh god, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
Yeah, he's used his fire well. Let's use mine. He's going to have a fire well soon. Yeah, got him. Nice. And I upgraded my fire well off his. his. Oh, Andy had that one too. Yeah, nice. That was a good kill. I got two greens off of that. Nice. Okay, let's go this way. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it needs an active sub, dirtbag. Okay, I think we're good. Anyone following me? No, we're okay. I need to get out of Stromgard, though. I'll tell you that much. Oh, I can hear someone. Someone's causing havoc around here somewhere. There's a chest here. He's just around this corner. Okay. What's that? Oh, the slow. No, I'm good. I'm good. There's an elite, is it? No. Just a regular. There, he just went outside of Stromgard. Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh, another one. Yeah, I'll take that. It's blue. Yeah, 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 nice. Oh my god! I am gonna die. Oh my god, he got me. Fuck! That guy just fucking annihilated me. He was level... S How do these people get so high level so quickly? He was level 7 already. Fuck. How do they get so high so quickly? I might just go kill elites. I mean, I'm getting the hang of it, Rob, but that doesn't mean I'm good at it. Fuck. That's really annoying because I had a really good start there. I had a blue, I had a green for offensive stuff, I had good escape tools, and I just happened across this fucking cunt that's level 7 after 3.5 seconds. He did keep jumping me. How is he level 7? The game was like 4 minutes old. Very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Hacks. It's gotta be the hacks. I mean, I'm also shit, but that's besides the point. Oh, Ubiquitous, if you're still watching, mate, if you want to do duos, I am happy to do duos, my friend. Do you want to do that? Sorry, mate, I didn't even think. If you're, if you're, uh, hang on, I'll give him a call. Oi, oh, wait. Oi, Buffhead. Hello. What are you doing? Um... Killing Baron Vardis in Outerac Mountains. Mate, I'm more than happy to do duos if that's what you want to do. Um, yeah, give me uh, two minutes. Yeah, uh, let me. I mean, I just started a game, so I'll finish this one. Oh, yeah, sounds good. Too easy. start now. How good is Firewell? Oh, it's a bit silly. 
I think it could make you not move faster and still be strong. Yeah. What are you doing inside? Uh, just killing a fella up in Outrack Mountains. A mob? I can, yeah, some dude called Baron Vardis, and I can target him, but I can't find which of like the ten buildings that he's in. So, he's here somewhere. so fucked in this game. I've killed nothing and I'm level 3 after like a million years. <laughs> it always feels bad. Just like, ugh. And I hate all these sweaty cunts that have like solved the game after 48 hours. <laughs> Boys, shut up! Fuck this game, ubiquitous. Yes, <laughs> so it begins. Fucking piece of shit. I gotta check on my dogs. One sec. Oh, good. Boys, what's the problem? Oh. oh. All right. So, I've not done a duo before, have you? Nah, not a single one. So, so oh, like, I'm can we kill each other, or how does it work? No, 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 we'll just be a party of two, fighting other parties of two. Oh, so we're, like, unhittable to each other. Oh, yeah. wait, no, we, we go in with other duos. Yeah, it'll all be 2v2v2v2v2v2. Two 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 oh, two 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 see, two I, two that's two. what I was saying the other day on stream. I was like, I don't get it. How OP would it be if you're a duo against other singles? Nah. Um, well, at least in every other battle royale of all time, duos just meant that everyone was in parties of two. Yeah. Um, Colin, the best I've come is ninth. Um, fucking... Yeah, get into it, dirtbag. Alright, so I'm ready when you are, mate. You just yell out. Yeah, I'll just uh, I'll give this last building a check, and if he's not in here, then I just give up. I don't know where he is. Did much change with the uh, 
hotfixes and stuff. All I saw was that there was more plunder. I didn't look. Yeah, they just they gave more shit because all the fucking all the retail players were bitch like they're all ripping this shit to shreds and bitching to no end because they don't want to have to play it to get like they hate that they have to play it to get mounts and it's like. I've got a whole rant lined up for this one. Don't get—I fucking hate MMO players to to death. Like, just it's the shit is ridiculous. But like, they're saying that the grind was way too long to get all the cosmetics you get at the end towards the end of the grind, and so they drastically buffed like how much plunder you get to make it heaps easier to get the the cosmetics and shit. And people are saying this it's still too like it's still too hard, blah 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 blah. Um did I get that invite? Did that work? Um I don't see you. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, let me click duos. Invite. Oh yeah, I haven't clicked duos. Hang on. There you are. Okay. Alright, shall we? I'm I'm ready. Yep. Let's do it. Oh, this is going to be the fucking wrecking crew. We're here. <laughs> um, is there much interest in March Madness in Australia? No, it gets almost no airtime or, or anything here, Colin. The pubs don't really show it on TV. It gets very, very little interest in contrast to, like, say, the NFL season. Um, but, you know, diehard basketballers... I mean, not even diehard bas basketballers are that into it here, like, because the college scene isn't a thing. So it's... You'd, you'd be fucking hard-pressed finding many Australians that know what's going on in NCAA, NCAA basketball. I yeah, keep, I keep tabs on it. Only blokes I know that are into it are the punters. Yeah, the mad punters. Because it's it's the tournament is phenomenal for punting. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Look at, like, the... I get like a little circle with your face in it, with oh, how yeah. many yards away you are. All right. Oh, you're piloting the whole ship. Take oh us fuck! Where do you want to? Where do you want to go? Anyway. All right. Easy. Let's go to my little spot that I always go to that every, everyone else has worked out. This is the first time I've played duo, so it'll be interesting to see how it all works. Yeah, yeah, same. All right. Do you reckon we're getting? Oh no! Someone took it. Someone took it. We're diverting. The worst spot I... Oh, we got to cuss that killed something. Alright. There you go, sunshine. Fucking don't get There's me to... someone in here. Don't get me to pilot, you fucking... There they are, on our left. Do you want to take them now, or we should get some shit first? Yeah, yeah. Kill this elite for now. Yeah. Have you got something? I've got searing axe. Alright, I've got to get that one. Okay. I've got something now. Oh, they're low. Yeah, go, 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 go. Let's get them. Yeah, burn, burn that mage. Or oh, that, the fucking, this bloke. The low one. Oh, come on. Did we get him? Up. Got him. I'm gonna drink. All right, are you good? Oh, I've got to be careful. Oh my god. I don't even have him. Oh my god, I'm in trouble. I'm going to just run away and drink. Oh my god, he's got me. He's got me. Fuck, I'm, I'm an idiot. You got this. You got this, buddy. I don't, I don't understand, like, I don't know if we're getting, like, American server lag or something, but I you think... can be, like, right on top of someone and your autos just don't hit. Yeah, I think cause someone said day one there's no OCE servers. I would believe that. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I've been under the presumption this whole time we are playing on, like, 2 220 American ping. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, the autos for us can quite easily miss. We're, oh, we're hamstrung. I absolutely hate Holy Shield. 
I think it's garbage. Yeah, I think it's crap as well. I'm picky. There's literally like four abilities in this entire game that I actually like to use, but I never end up with those. I agree. It, no, basically it's like you want fucking uh, swirling fire or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, you want... Uh, what's the other one that's good? Um, I like the slow. I like the AoE slow. Oh. I like steel traps because everyone else likes fire twirl and it just hard counters it pretty much. Yeah. Why what is it does it keep them in place? Yeah, you put the traps down when they're chasing you and it just roots them. Mm. And I, I also I also like that tornado ability. I just find that one fun. Oh really? As as my two utilities. I think you're gonna be driving this time. Yes you are. Alright, it's all on you mate. I don't know where an elite is at this farm, but let's guess. Oh, there's someone. Two on our left. We're going to land right next to someone. Get on him straight away. Oh shit, they got an ability. <laughs> I'm going to try and get an ability. Are you good? No, no, no. Yeah, Wait. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get away from these two. Yeah, yeah, get away from him. Get away from him. Fuck him. There's no point. Oh, there's one. No. I don't know, it feels like stuff's tougher in duos, like to kill. Oh, they're Not on the me. Mobs. They're very on me. I'm fucked here. I'm so fucked. I'm very fucked. No, it was never gonna happen. They, I, the most annoying part is when you have no, no gap closer, no slow, no nothing. Someone's just on you like it's done. Sorry, mate. Yeah, off we go. <laughs> Sorry, mate. An inauspicious no, start. Right. No, it's, it's that's this is the this is the atypical example of the start. Like when you land and you literally just get nothing within 10, 15 seconds, it's like oh, well, AFK. Just wait for the guy that landed next to you with his three abilities are ready to kill you. Yeah, yeah. At least that's how it feels most of the time. If you don't land on an elite. Just killing ordinary mobs feels so bad in this. It does. We got to land away from other players and like not fight anyone straight away. Yeah. The problem is though, like I don't know if you've noticed, you can't fly away from players because everyone spawns completely over the map randomly. You yeah. pretty much just want to go straight down. If you try to coast away, you're actually just going to fly off to where someone's already landed. Yeah. So, it's just dive bomb and fucking hope that there's not four people dive bombing the same mob. Duos is fun though. I like. I already like it more than just complete solo. Because mm. at least... Yeah, solos was a little bit annoying. If you didn't have something that could catch anyone, you'd just be chasing someone on foot yeah. for like a minute. Going HP pot for HP pot. It's like between the two of us, surely we can catch someone. All right, you're, you're driving. That's the way. Find an elite. On, on, oh, fuck. Oh, God, he's going to land right next to us. No. I'm going to go get an ability. Fuck him. Yeah, I'm literally oh, just Did they get something the straight away? Yeah, they got the one off the elite. Oh, they can't. Are you right? Yeah, they're not chasing me. Yeah, I feel like... Looking at this, we're gonna have to stick together because yeah, I'm yeah, adamant yeah. these mobs Oh shit, they're after me, punch. they're after me. Yeah, you just gotta run, run, yeah, run, run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm running away. Yeah, auto attacking mobs in this is dreadful solo. It's like they just doubled the HP because you're a duo or something. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, fuck, these mobs are polymorphing. Yeah, they do it ad nauseum. It's awful. Where are you? Across the lake from you. Oh, I see ya. Hey, you come around that way. 
Yeah, uh, coming one here. ability at least. Oh god, I've got a couple of people on me. I'm fucked. On this way? I'm very fucked. Drinking. I'm kiting this guy. Oh, I can't. I can't get away. I just. It is incredibly frustrating to have no abilities at the start. You got this. You got this. Oh, nice drink. Mate, you're a fucking gamer. Look at you go. Get him, burn him, burn him. Oh, he ran away. How'd he do that? He's gonna fucking chain to you. Oh, you did it. That was huge. Oh, we got that all on stream. That was unreal. Just go die and we can re -cue. No, no, fucking do your thing. But I, is that like, I guess you are pretty much guaranteed to die if your partner dies. Yeah, I won't win many 2v1s. Giving it a red hot go. Viewing. Oh well, at least you yeah, had one great there. win. Yeah, at least we killed someone for once. <laughs> oh, well, um, hopefully we'll have one game where we don't land right on top of I know, up. right? Yeah. I want to see if I can see ping, because even like picking things up, I know that I'm clicking it before them, and then it disappears like half a second later. Yeah. I, I guarantee yeah. you we're dealing with 200 MS more than them. Yeah, some of these fights... Like, when you were fighting that guy, and I was fighting his partner, mm. and it was like, my autos were like one in four landing. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he's dead in front of me. Did they make the, like, the start time shorter in here? Because I remember you'd run around for like a minute. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Hey, Bionic Cityverse, thank you so much for the sub, mate. You're a fucking legend, thank you. I feel like they did make it shorter. Maybe we're just queuing straight into very full games. Maybe. Whenever I was playing solos, it was just 59 of 60 All right, for eight. you're driving again. Is there an elite around here? Yeah, on your left. Oh, no, this is a bad Yeah, no, that's it, that's it. Good, good eye, good eye. You grab that one. Oh, there's some holy shield for you. Oh, it's a, there's two chests. There's three chests over this way. Oh, okay. I'll come to you. Let me just kill this guy. Oh, I got one. Slicing wins, very good. Oh my god, I can't stop aggroing things. Alright, where are you? I'm coming to you now. Another elite and some chests. Yep. I want, is this what retail's like where mobs cast in front of them? Uh, I think so, yes, I want to say. Ooh, a couple of chests over here, yeah. Magical chests. Have you got stuff? I'm fine, I'll eat shit. 
Caltrops. Just let me know if you see anyone, because I'm quite far away from you. Uh, I'm at the edge of the map, and I'll we'll come here. Alright, I'm coming, making my way to you now. Doesn't look like there's many people around here. I see ya. I've not seen that item before, the rigged chest. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you were fighting a player. Rigged chest? What's a rigged chest? It's a dummy chest that explodes after someone interacts with it, after like a second oh, or two. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty I've cool. I've just put it down randomly and left that part of the map. <laughs> Alright, I'm with you. How do I get over there? I see. Go down this way. Chest, you get this chest down here. Cool. There's a golden chest. Oh, over there. Do you want to grab it? Uh -oh. oh, shit. Where'd you go? Alright, I'll get it. Ooh, a moon cannon. Good eye. Level five, what are you? Five. Good stuff. Yeah, but I don't know if it's what you're supposed to do, but I just run from elite to elite and grab everything that's tiny in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yes, please. No wait. Okay. Do you like go out of your way to get plunder or not really? Oh, no, I don't chase one okay. little stack of it. I mean, I, that's probably what the guys that care about actually getting the rewards for retail do, but... Right. Just, just zugging, mate. Just zug. Alright, I'm coming to you. The worst part about this match is that we finally got what we've asked for, and we're yeah. still probably going to get smashed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's that Fade to Shadow. I think you like oh, that Oh, I do one. like that one a lot. That's one of my favourites. A couple of golden chests. Yeah, happy days. <clears throat> I find that you just find the golden chests faster than picking the little plunders around. And getting more faster anyway. Ooh, there's a um, fire whirl if you want it. I might pick it up actually. Ooh, there's a storm coming for us. Elite over here. Let's get away from this storm, eh? Yeah, storm's converging. The duo over this to our left. Like mad lads. 
Oh, they're fighting right at the storm. There's this guy in front of us. Yeah, two in front of us. Grab that chest. Yeah. Here, right in front of me. Yep. Whoa. Oh no, I got fucked up. Another pair came into it. Fuck, we were doing really well. Yeah. That was alright. Yeah. There's actually eight players there. That that was the rest of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were all there. Oh, good stuff. That's funny. Oh, no, nah, my abilities are still a little low. That's the... Th you kind of got to find, like, the corpses of other duos. And yeah. hope that they drop shit that you wanted that the guys that killed them didn't. Yeah. Otherwise, you never get to epic. <sighs> I think I unlocked some fucking pet for retail just then that I don't give a shit about. Yeah. I saw that you can use the the mount in Wrath and Cutter, so I'm sure there'll be some people grinding for that. What are your plans today? Are you on the beers? Got a fucking doozy of a day today. Oh yeah? Um, got a first birthday, you know, those are wild. Oh, huge. Then I've got the football club's season launch, which has like a band and food trucks on. And oh, that'll be good that, after, I'm only there for like two hours, and yeah. an hour and a half, and then I'm off to the pub for one of my mates' and birthdays. You're the coach, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, so you've got to get the drunkest. Yeah, I'm, I'm just coaching because I'm still broken. Hopefully I can be a player <laughs> next year. Get straight down. Oh, bad land. That's alright. Alright, let's Kill get into this. it. Let's get into it. Alright, there's a holy shield. I'll take it because you love it so much. Oh, I've never had toxic mackerel, so what the hell is this? Doing? You've not had toxic mackerel, it's what a fucking super common. Um it it's really hard on the old OCE ping, toxic mackerel. Because it it's got like a it's got like a hard, like a one second cast time and it's a conal ability. And so you'll you'll notice I played around with it the other day. Like, you've got to... On your cast bar there... What's that one? The ambush. Oh, yeah, yeah. On your cast bar there, you've got to be standing in front of the thing about, you know, three quarters of the way through the one second cast to have it be successful. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, wrong one. Okay. Three. Ooh, you're low on health. I should drink. I I'm so bad for cancelling it somehow. What do you mean? Oh, you can't. You started and cancelled. Yeah, because I'm just mashing jump and move. But... There's one Caltrops for you. Fucking, where are all the elites? Yeah. Big B. 
bear over here. But... Yeah. I really, I don't like being at this end of the map at all. Like that whole troll village yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, shit. Oh, there's a guy here. Yeah, coming, here, coming, see. coming. Come here, you bastard. Ooh. Go back for that chest when we're done. Is he dead? No. Oh. Did you get him? Good stuff. Ooh, let me grab that one. Let me grab the go back and just get this chest. Oh, two coming for me. I'm gonna... Coming, coming, coming. I'm on you. I'm with you now. Yep. Oh. oh, level five. Oh, no. Oh. Do you think they ate my bush? <laughs> oh, my God. I couldn't cancel the bush. Nah, two level fives are always going to murder two level threes. Yeah. Just the level scaling's pretty big. Yeah, it's a big difference, two levels, isn't it? Alright, I'm never going to that troll village again. I hate killing those mobs. It's fine. They have, they're too annoying. They drop fuck all. The elites are so far apart. Yeah. And all the polymorphs are like obnoxious. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't played that much, so I don't even know that end of the map all that well. But mm. I'm quickly learning. I don't like it. No, this isn't anywhere near as annoying to die in than like PUBG. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is anywhere near as satisfying as a car 98 with the six times either. Oh, there's a full ping system. Alright. On you. Oh, we're still, we're still where I hate. Well, Stromgard's not too bad. Go, get him, get him. Yeah, nice. Nice. You take those slicing wins. I hate slicing wins. Oh, okay, I'll take it. Is that something on me? No. Yes. Whoa. Okay. Where'd you go? There you are. Yep, coming. I'm sorry. Let's grab him. Which one? The Geomancer? Yep. Oh, your favorite ability. Feeling good about this one, mate. There's your, there's your fucking cyclones. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here's another elite just down here. Oh, the cyclone doesn't go. What's that one? That's the turns you into like an elemental that casts. Uh, Lightning thing, an earth thing, and a fire thing, back to back to back. Oh yeah, I've, oh, I had that, sorry, yeah. So that's green for me now, alright. Good eye. Better get moving, storm's coming! Storm's coming. 
chest off to your there. Did you see that ping? Ah, uh, yes. Very good. Yeah. Okay, so it pings on your mouse. I was an elite on our elite in front of me here. Oh fuck. Oh, pinging is good. Fantastic ping system. Oh. Yeah, let's get it. Get him. Get him. Oh, fuck. Get that boomkin, yeah. abilities in the game yeah it's pretty crap it's like fun would you know you can kite when they've got nothing to get to you but like otherwise it hits for fuck all Please? this is what we're after yeah someone's died here very good anything you which which one do you want crap for me they're crap for you you've yeah. got slicing winds as well no 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 I dropped it uh -oh. okay uh, let's go north we'll have to go this way Bottle time, I've not seen that one. Oh, there's guys fighting, guys fighting. Yeah, yeah, I'm on you. I can't see shit, either they are. How do you ping? Just right click on the map. You got a mouse over at G. Alright. Oh, that was a big hit. <laughs> his boy fucking ditched him bad. Where did his boy go? He legged it. Oh shit, what have I done? Okay. Okay, happy days. I've got two blue offensive abilities, so I'm sitting pretty. His boy Fine. legged it. Are you serious? Boy said... Uh, oh, in here, in here. There you go. I'll go get him. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Ooh, upgrade. That's huge. I've got a purple. That's great. Alright, where are we going? Ah, uh, we'll have to go northwest this way. Yeah. Mate, we're looking good. I don't want to jinx us. Have you got any blues? I've got Holy Shield blue and Snowdrift blue. Yeah, good stuff. I've got Storm Archon purple, Holy Shield blue. I can see a whole heap of good shit over there. We'll go kill that griffin. There's some people, yeah. Maybe in this direction. Oh, I, w I just want to get this barrel roll. There's a person. Watch out. Two of them. Whoa. Oh, no! <laughs> no! No! They annihilated me. I can't That's believe that. They were both level 8 again. That's what were we? Being out leveled. We were 6. Yeah, yeah. We're just, yeah. We're not finding elites and shit. It's just level, level, level is how you win, right? Yeah, but at the same time, like, I've, I haven't had a single epic ability in any of these games yet. And mm. we keep dying to guys that are two levels higher with epic with abilities. With epics, yeah. How do they get it all? Well, they're probably just getting those early encounters like we don't if you 
that's the problem. Like we had peace, peaceful farming, but that actually just sets you behind. Yeah, it does. Yeah. But it's better than dying at level two. So, no, oh, it wasn't a bad game. No, we did well. Where did we come? Oh, I don't remember. I didn't see. Yeah. Uh... I had a smash the leveling on my rogue this morning. I think I got like two and a half levels in 90 minutes. Oh, good eye. Did the, did the sleeping bag stuff. Oh, we're going to the farm. We've got to go to the farm. Alright. Let's have a look, see what we got here. Both got an ability, I think. I round up all these guys. Yeah. Oh, guys on us. Oh, a fire whirling. Where's his mate? Oh shit. There's his mate, or there's someone. These guys are level 3 already. How are they level 3? I don't get it. What they need fuck? to run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you right? I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Stunned him. I've got nothing. Just keep running. Here he comes. I'm on him. Jesus Christ, how do you land on fucking fire tool, man? But also just more like. Oh, how is he level 3 after 45 seconds of gameplay? Alright, I'm gonna just fucking win by staying away from everyone. Watch this. It's gonna be great. Nah, I'll just die. It's boring. Can you die to PvE mobs pretty easily? I think so. That, yeah, that guy was level 3, like, instantly. Okay, we got Brosets giving us some tips. You use Rhyme to cancel heals. Um, and basically, yeah, lands on an elite, kill it, get a yellow chest, and you're instantly level 3. Ah, oh, the fucking the the money chests are probably massive boosts. Yeah, now, I'm pretty sure that was a part of the buff, right? Didn't they buff how much you got out of it or some shit? Plunder was massively increased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Brosted. I don't, I don't like pretty much any of the two second charge up melee swings like Earth. Shatter or whatever in yeah, the yeah, yeah. They can all bug it. There's too much shit that's easy to dodge. Alrighty. I'm gonna gather up 10 million mobs here and yep. start bombing the shit out of them. Alright. Oh, I've got, got a player on me straight away. Oh, and he got the ability. Great. That's that's fucking great. I, I don't have a, I don't have a single ability. And I've got Star Bomb, which is arguably the most trash ability to have on its own. Just run, 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 run. You're running, you're running to a guy with Fire Twirl straight in front of you. Awesome.
How do we get away from that? I didn't want to chase. There's keep moving, players. keep moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate having Star Twirl and only starts. Oh, Star Bomb, sorry. Yeah. You got that? Yeah. Alright, let's move this way. There's a chest, a couple of chests actually. Fighting? There's a joy. Oh, nice. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, they're level four. Oh, I'm getting third party. What? I'm gonna run if I can. Get out of there. Just run, run, run. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's six, there's six guys here. This guy's left on his own to chase you. Yeah. Fucking cancelled my heal straight away. Oh, thanks, mate. Ah, oh, it was never gonna happen. He totally left his mate. His mate is surely dying to that other pair back there. Oh, there's a lot of players. And all of them have much better abilities than mm -hmm. I. Oh, of course. Oh, get all that loot. Look at that. Yeah, may as well grab the plunder before I die, right? Oh, Matterhorn. Thanks so much for the sub, mate. How are you going? Good to see you. It's fun, Fraser. Check it out. It's it's honestly a bit of fun. Like I I I I give it a, a thumbs up. It is dumb fun on the side. Just play it for five minutes and see how you go. Now you're doing really well. You did fucking oh. well. You're a gamer. <laughs> We're doing horrible, <laughs> myself included. <laughs> this is fun though. Yeah, but you hold your own in these fights much more than I do. No, it's just like, it's kind of hard. I, I almost, once they reveal what they've got, it's a lot easier to know like, okay, I need to save my ability for when he uses that one. But mm. if you use yours early and then it's like, ah, oh, fuck, he does have fire twirl. And you've already used your one thing to get away from fire twirl. It's yeah. kind of over. It's all about holding your cards, I guess, in the fights. Hmm. And, uh, Something I'm not good at. <laughs> <laughs> you just roll in, you press one, two, three, four. Just roll my hand on Ruined. the keyboard, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, Dirtbag agrees with you. It's about holding your fucking abilities. Yeah. That's it. Like, at the same time, I just, I don't know. There's something about this mode that's not like any other Battle Royale that I've played where I genuinely don't particularly care to try and make it as far as I can because yeah. I don't care about the rewards mm. and it's just more fun to fight than to not. So. Yeah. At least I know where fucking mobs are. Well, whereas in, are you saying like in PUBG you're more inclined just to sit in a hole and wait? Oh fuck, I got on people straight away. Yeah, run away. He got yeah, the ability yeah. with his superior ping. I'm gonna go in here. Come in this building. Yeah, come on. Usually a chest. No chest. Oh fuck, there was an ability back there. One sec. Alright. Are you right? Yeah, Wait. I'm just killing oh, an elite. Right over there. Oh, and what do I get? Star bomb. Ah oh, shit. Oh, that's yours. And this guy's at the These guys are fight. outside. I have nothing useful. Yeah, we'll leave them to it.
Star Bomb is great for AoE farming early or late. Yeah. I'm gonna go jump in the mine. It's like, it's kind of, it's the weirdest paced battle royale in the like, I'm just feeling like I'm closer to losing every second you don't find a chest or res. Hmm. Just... I wonder if we're... So did you just hit level 3? Yeah. Yeah, I think we earn, like, party XP. Yeah, 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 we split it. Because I'm getting experience from stuff that I'm not hitting, that you're killing. Yeah. And that's, it's good, it means that we don't have to care about who gets a gold chest or not. Yeah. Or who picks up plunder or not. Another of all these bastards. Oh, watch out. Oh, I'm gonna watch die. Out. <laughs> Some big chests. Level five, good stuff. We're doing well. I think they're still bopping in that castle. <laughs> 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 I still don't even have a second offensive yet. Neither do oh, I. Yeah. Take shitty old rhyme arrow. We have been cursed. I haven't had one fire twirl drop or anything yet. Oh, no. Or any of the abilities I actually like to use. Oh, I'm just gonna... No. Where are you? There you are. Where do you want to go? Uh, uh, there's guys in front of us here. They're level on. 2, we can take them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go barrel in on their ass. Do it. They're only level 2. On my way. Where is he? Got him. Got him. Good size fire twelve for ya. Huge. Now we can twirl on some assholes. Um, I'll take that. I'll take Rhyme Arrow. Just yeah, there's a, there's another one here. You can probably upgrade it. For oh yeah, one. nice. Good call. Better get moving. The one's coming. Maybe it's just because I'm bad, but I reckon that could, you could definitely go with a shorter heal cooldown. Yeah. Ooh. Do you wanna? You should drink up after this one. Alright. Yeah, this is a bit of fun, the old duos. Yeah, this is a lot more fun than solos and for me anyway. Wasn't doing half bad in solos. Yeah. Finish maybe in like the top ten most games. Yeah. It became easier so. and easier to finish around like, you know, eight to twelve. Yeah. I'll get the other chest. Yes, please. Very good. Got that one. Big chest over there and a bear. The gold chest. Yeah, let's go grab it. I'll get the one on the left. The magical chest. Oh, there's a big bear, yeah. 
Am I just being a picky zoomer if I say that it's kind of annoying that you can pick the chest up and then you have to run around and... Yeah, it point. is annoying. It is annoying. <laughs> You know what's annoying? Getting interrupted while you're fucking trying to do a chest. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not bad. Oh, guys right in front of me. Uh, oh, they look away. We don't oh, want that beast. Run away, run away. No, we don't want that at all. We Unless don't want that. Bad. We don't want that beast. I think them being bad, like, would counteract our ping anyway. <laughs> Kitten baby and big nasty. Come on, we can. All right, let's... we can do it. Let's do it. We've got this. Jesus, they've absolutely whipped me. Oh dear. Oh, this is going to be nasty. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I had to run away. They absolutely smashed me with Fire Twirl. It's all about Fire Twirl. That's the problem one, with this one, game. One stunned me and the other twirled me. So. Alright, I'm going to try and win this one as a solo. Watch this. I believe in you. Can do it. I'm just going to hide. I'm not going to fight anyone. I'm just going to hide. There's a setting for this bloody camera, so I don't have to keep fucking zooming it out constantly. I'm literally just going into this building and fucking hiding. Watch this. This will be wild. Fucking metastrads. Yes, can do. Oh, come on, you bitch. Yeah, that's it. No one will find me here. <laughs> Do you reckon this will work? You watching the stream? I think this will be a successful strategy. We're going to get top three for sure. How many are left? There's seven players left. Seven squads? Does that mean 14 players? Oh, well, you're technically a squad, so it could be anything. Yeah. Oh, there's someone near me. I could be in trouble here. Quite funny viewing you from inside your model. Your whole body turns like see-through except for your beard. <laughs> Don't move a muscle. <laughs> I am... Be very, very quiet. They mostly come out at night. Mostly. Fuck, this will be funny. Surely I'm in an area that the final storm will, will allow me to stay here. Storm on the horizon. Oh, I'm shitting bricks here, Yubi. Oh, there's someone outside. I'm very scared. I don't think I'm going to make the last storm. Fuck. Oh, you're still in this section. Of the section. Yeah, I'm good still now, like but the next one I might just have to move. I like how quickly these games end. Like the mm. storm just reaches and fucking picks a new spot. And 100%. In 10 they nailed that, like in and out quick gameplay. I do have invis as well, yeah. Oh no, I'm still safe, yeah. But on the next one, I might be in trouble. Let's have a look, see. Mm. 
No one's died for a while. Sorry, Matt, I know this isn't particularly fun for you. Sir? It's very entertaining. Okay, <laughs> yeah, next circle coming. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, I've got to move. <laughs> Fuck. I'm going. I'm going. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, I don't think anybody saw me. Please. This will be hilarious where you third party the last team fighting and you win with a solitary rhyme arrow. <laughs> oh, they'll be able to see me there though, won't they? I can see them coming. Okay, they can't see me now. Oh, this is huge. Oh, this is actually huge. I've, I've been boxed in by the storm. Oh, I've got to move. Oh no, I've gone the wrong way. Fuck. Okay, I'm going to wait for that to fucking cool down. Alright, let's have a look. It's moving again in 10. Yeah. hilarious. Oh god. Oh god, where are they all? Getting the battle royale jitters. Fucking sure am. Oh my god, this is insane. They're gonna see a level 4 or whatever and just be like free food. I can't believe oh. that there's four squads remaining in here. There's one. There's two. Oh, there's God. Woo next year. Go hide, Josh. Go hide. This is where you need the bush one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, God. I've aggroed something. Kill it. Magical chest. Oh, God. Just hide over here. Storm is converging. Oh god. I've never seen it like this. This is wild. Look at them all popping on. There's another guy that's literally just running away from the fight as well. Oh, <laughs> He's god. behind your hut. Oh, god. oh, there's a bush. There's a moving bush. Where? 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 <laughs> oh, that guy. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> you're just like you're like a commentator just watching the <laughs> everyone else fight. Oh my god. And they're just ignoring you. Oh I go this way. Go this way. Go this way. <laughs> oh no. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, pick up the rare fire tool. Where? <laughs> you, oh. See if you can yoink a kill with it. No! No, oh, he found me, no! <laughs> it's all over. We did well. <laughs> I placed the. Oh, that was hilarious. Oh I can't my God. how long they just ignored you. <laughs> Oh my god. That is a level 9. A level... What is it? A level 9 on level 8. What level was I? 4? Seven. 7. Oh my god. But that's a big diff. Yeah. Who do these guys go for? It? Oh, I see a whoop. He's got to be done for you. Yeah. That's it. They win. Pete stank in face. So that duo, that duo was still alive. Yeah.
I can't believe they ignore me that long. I'm envious seeing everyone at the end of the game with four epic abilities. That's pretty fun with how small the circle gets. Yeah. I've, I've only had a few games where I've made it to that point, and in solos it's even more crazy. When there's like eight people that can all kill each other in there, it ends very quickly. <laughs> Oh, dirtbag, we did it. That was exhilarating. Placed and got a medal. Taking a minute to film. Alright. I might make I might make uh, I can't speak English. I might make this the last one, mate, and then play some Dragon's Dogma 2 after this. That's all good. I will probably be getting messaged that it's time to go get breakfast sometime soon. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm suspecting that it must be on US servers because it's starting to, I think it's starting to get a little bit later, mm. or is it peak, no, I think it's peak hour in America, so it yeah, should be getting busy. It's, it's peak hour now, yeah. Yeah. You can do it, I believe in you. Nice, nice, nice. I'll take the slicing wins. Oh, golden chest over there. Fucking yeah, do it, it, do it, do it. Level two, very good. Oh, Star Bomb, hell yeah. Oh, Slicing Winds, yeah, I'll take that up for an upgrade. Gotta get the uh, Elite. And if we can round them all up, yeah, I'll Star Bomb them. Oh, fuck. Very good. You want to take that bad boy? Oh, I hate this ability. But... Take uh, actually no wait. Yeah, star bomb incoming. by hitting nothing. <laughs> <laughs> There's a golden chest down here. I'm just going to grab it. Oh, ding a -ling. It's all happening. Guys here? Guys here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is level 7. Oh, what the, Ooh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Me. Okay. Are we away? I'm running. Uh, we ain't got no bizzo fighting them, gentlemen. Just here. 
Like, I thought we had done very well to yeah. find what we had found. To be level the... 5 that quickly, yeah. we're doing really well, and they're 7. That's Silly. Oh, a few elites down here again. Oh, magical chest over there. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. That's what it's all about. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, big purple. Big purple. Oh, oh no, he's got it. We gotta kill him. We gotta kill him. He'll have a purple no, he on him. He, did, he didn't even take it. Oh, what? What is it? Oh, fucking, you take it. You want it? You can have Bulwark on him, mate. Yeah, fuck yeah. They're level fours. So let's go beat them. Yeah, let's Caleb have him. Have him. I've got two green abilities. We might be okay. Kaboom! <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, he's got that one. Yeah, hell yeah. Are you right? Put him in that. Oh. Oh. Newbie, no. Yeah. Oh, oh no. He rhyme married me oh, the dog. No. Oh no. Oh fuck. Alright, I might as well die. Nah, if it's your last one, give it a crack. Give it a go. Doesn't matter. Oh fuck. Steel traps. Uh, oh shit, there's someone on me. Oh, there they are. Let's go have a go. Let's go have a crack. 2v1. Should pot up. Oh, yeah. Good point. Oh, they're on your new... Oh, they're in level 4. You can bully them. That's it. That's the play, mate. Oh, I got him. Yep. Yeah. That was perfect. You did... Pretty much the rock, paper, scissors in the right order. Nice. What is happening here? His boy is just in front of you. Where's his boy? He went down to the rock formation down there. Down here? I can't see shit. Um, down there. There's ooh, two down on. there. Yeah, nice. Oh, they're coming for you. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Oh. Let's do it. Oh shit, I fucking misplayed that one. I can assure you. I like the uh, bulwark snowdrift combo. Oh, you could have killed him if you stayed on top oh, of him. Oh no, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. I got one. Yeah. You'll get this idiot. Oh. Oh, I got him! Nice. Well played. Fuck. Oh, what killed? <laughs> what killed me? The storm? No, what killed me? Uh, the, the poison. Mackerel. The poison. poison oh. on you. <laughs> that was a perfect finale. Oh wait, uh, hang on. You know what? I, these guys are right. We can res people. We didn't know. Oh, 
Yeah, I figured. Oh, I'll my God. We had no idea, guys. I'm so sorry. Jay Lazy, you must be laughing your ass off. You can res. I remember the game teaching me that, like, at the first minute, but yeah. we have never played duos before. I forgot about that, too. Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, my really, God. Well, now we know. I, I really like that, uh... The bulwark and snowdrift works really well together. It was pretty good. Um, I was feeling like very powerful just then. Hmm. Well, I bet I just pulled two two v ones off. Yeah, it was very sort good. of, sort of one two v one and two separate one on ones. Yeah, because like snowdrift is just a poor man's twirl because it doesn't make you any faster, so you're never on top of them hurting them. Yeah, but with the lightning bulwark proc, it is. So. Yeah, I'll have to go back and watch that. That was interesting. Well, at least we know now that, like, you know, if you've got the gear, 2v1 yeah. is possible. And you had the... You had a one-level advantage on both those guys. It yeah. seems like it's fucking powerful. Yeah. I also... Oh, I had pretty good gear. I had, like, two purples. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, good fun, good. mate. Thank you for that. Oh, good. Yeah, good stuff. Um... Let me think. Uh, let me think, 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 think. Boys, I might actually, uh, I might actually wind the stream up there. Um, we've been going for two and a half hours. I might play some Dragon's Dogma two offline, have a bit of fun. Um, mate, I'll catch up with you later, Ubi. Yeah, no worries. Have a good Saturday. We'll do. If we stream from the pub, I'll, I'll shout out. <laughs> you should stream from the pub. Just yeah. like half an hour. Oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. I'll catch you later. See you, mate. Yep. Thanks, stream. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Peace, everyone.